Hi third grade, today is day number one of our patterned project. You will need your piece of paper, uh, vertical, which means up and down, and a pencil. I'm using a black marker so you can see what I'm doing. All right, we are gonna start off with our name. And for this, you may wanna use the backside of your paper or scrap paper to practice, because in the past, I have had students that have kind of gotten frustrated and messed this up and then they kept erasing. So if you want to use one side for practice, the other side is nice, that's not a bad idea. So I will do my practice paper that's over here just so you guys get the point. So we're going to do our name and we're going to learn how to do bubble letters first. We're going to end up taking these bubble letters and they are going to look like building blocks that are stacked on top of each other. So, and I'm going to try the best I can to draw upside down for this, but if I'm doing Santerone, here's my S, all right? All of your letters, this is important, all of your letters need to be capital for this project, all right? It surprises me how often students in third grade get mixed up with the difference between capital and lowercase. So let's go over this. This is a capital A. That's a lowercase A and it's backwards. See, I told you I'm trying to draw things backwards. That's a lowercase a, okay? Capital is what we're doing. So, uh, same thing. Let me see if I can do this upside down. See, it's upside down, hold on. Capital B, lowercase, okay? We want capital. All right, so you're gonna do your capital letter, so I'm doing S. I'm gonna draw my initial letter lightly. That part is important. I can draw lightly with a marker, but you can with a pencil. You're gonna go around your letter, leaving a space with your pencil. Okay, that's how you make a bubble letter. You will practice these on your scrap paper till you get the hang of it. You will, if I did this with pencil, I could erase it you will erase your original letter. So we're gonna just do this for day number one. Okay, so towards the top of my paper, I'm gonna do my letter S. Now I have a long name. If you have a long name like me, you're gonna have to make your letters a little bit smaller. If you have a short name, let's say your name's Chad, you're gonna need to make your letters bigger so it fits. We wanna fill in the whole space. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm gonna draw my letters so they're on top of each other. Bear with me, I gotta turn this around because this is gonna drive me crazy if I don't. So you're gonna probably see this upside down. All right, these letters are gonna touch each other. I want them to look like they are about to fall over like building blocks. Now wait a minute, I don't have any more space. That's okay if you run into that problem. Your letters can be mixed up. So I have S-A-N-T-A-R-O. Where am I gonna put my N and E? I could shove my N up here. That's okay if it's out of order. And maybe I will put my E over here like it's balancing, okay? When you get done with that, you are gonna go around your letters like we practiced, and you're gonna make them into bubble letters. Notice that my space be around my letters, and I would erase my original if I did this in pencil, this is my original, there is a big gap. Okay, this is the right way. Let's talk about the wrong way. Let me get my scrap paper. Here's my letter. This is the wrong way. Getting real close to my letter. This doesn't look like a bubble letter at all, really, friends. And I, this is a common mistake that students make every year. Do not put it close together. Leave a big space. It just looks better. And then you erase the original, okay? This is all you're doing for day number one. Letters touch, they all have to be capital, and you're drawing around them with pencil. If you finish a little early, you can use a Sharpie, a black marker, a black crayon, a black colored pencil to trace over the outside of your letter. Okay, bye friends, keep up the good work.